We are at the Japanese tea garden. Got our tickets. So I think we're just walking around, right? I don't know. Yeah. Not a bad way to start the day, huh? No, it's really nice. It's super relaxing. It's like peaceful too. Very quiet. Yeah. And it's not as windy inside of here. No, it actually feels really good. It's I've been really holding Rob's sweatshirt there. over me. Yeah. Because it's cold out. So if you guys didn't know by now, this is the Japanese tea gardens in San Francisco. What's this park called? Golden, Golden Gate, Gate Park. Yeah, Golden Gate Park. So Golden Gate Park, if you're familiar with like a central park in New York, like we're familiar with, that's pretty much what we have here. But a lot more incredible, a, a way more beautiful. I, I would go to Central Park a lot more if this was inside of our Central Park. Yeah. This is pretty, pretty amazing right here. We're just gonna kind of like, we're just gonna kind of take this in. And uh, and just let you guys kind of check it out as well because there's a lot going on here and it's pretty amazing. Yeah. This is a koi pond. You see the koi fish. Some are like hanging on, out underneath that bush there. Some are swimming. It's really nice. I like this little channel here that they made. Yeah, it's cute. I would want this in my backyard. I found a koi fish. See him hiding in there? Yeah, he's just like sleeping down there. Yeah. And there's more underneath. You could see him better from Are here. Are you supposed to put money inside of here? I don't know. Don't let like, the fish eat it? Probably not. Because there are coins inside of there. Yeah, good luck coins. You see them over there? Underneath? I don't know if you guys can make it out. Uh, I can't really make it out in the camera there. You guys might be able to see him right in there. Oh, he swam away. Look at him. Look at him go. This is incredibly nice back here. I love this back here. This whole area I would love to have as my backyard. It would be so peaceful just to be able to come home and relax in like a hammock in my Japanese garden. Yeah. It would be so nice. It would be so, so nice. I would grow weed in it also. <laughs> this makes me feel like we're in like a fight scene of a ninja flick. Like it's like the calm before the fight. I don't know why. Like all these statues. Yeah. That's the only thing I've ever seen them in. It's good uh, reference. <laughs> yeah. Wu Tang movies. Yeah. Duh. I love this moss. Reminds me of some of the abandoned houses we've been inside of, but nicer. Yeah, this definitely reminds me of a Wu Tang movie. I want to go inside of there and run around. I want to live in there. Yeah, you don't. I wouldn't want to live in that house if it was bigger. Yeah, if that was like a life-size house, that'd be pretty I'd sick. want to live in that. It'd be a nice yard.
This is the biggest koi fish ever. They are huge. I've never seen them that big. If any of you guys out there have ever seen a koi fish that big, let me know. And not here in this Golden Gate Park, somewhere else in the world. You almost fell in? Yeah. <laughs> I almost lost my footing on the right foot. I was like, whoa. This is really pretty, honestly. And it's it was only $9 per person to oh, get in. Oh, you can go over that? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's sick. Not much to see up here. There's really not that much to see up there. You saw a couple of like little tidbits of what I can get up there, but it's all really down here. Yeah. It's just kind of a, a cool bridge that you can climb up on top of. It's really pretty and super nice and for $9 per person, I think it's worth it. So there's like this little tea house in the Japanese tea garden. And I think you can get some tea, I think some refreshments, and I believe some other things. So we're gonna go in now and see what they have. I should get you these. You know why? Because I can't use chopsticks. Yeah, and these are training chopsticks. Awesome. So I'll just use a fork. So that was the gift shop. This is where you can go down and um, get tea. Yeah, I don't want to. Me neither. I do like green tea. Supposedly there's a good iced green tea that maybe I'll give it a shot. Here? Yeah, I think I think I read like a review on it. So do you want to go get it? Yeah, but I wanted to show you this statue first. That's why I was walking this way. This bronze Buddha was cast in 1790. Sick. That's crazy. Really old. Yeah. I told you. They have an iced green tea. It combines the taste of sencha with matcha. Are you getting it? I am. I'm gonna get it. You have cash on you, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Thank you. I got it in a to-go cup. Do you do it? I got it in a to-go cup. Nice. It's not very sweet. It's like a nice mixture of teas. Would you like to try it? No. Yeah, you probably wouldn't like it. Old school trash like damn. Can't get enough of this more like I don't even know where I am. Ooh, baby, get hyped to the beat. Let's go, cause this is our jam. This is our jam. Let's go. That is so cool. So we're at Peephole Cinema right now. It's on Orange Alley in San Francisco. It's one of the places I found on Atla Atlas Obscura. And it was done by this artist. So you come here, you can see this little sign that it has, Peephole Cinema. And when you look in here, there's like a little silent film that's played. It's actually really, really cool. Wow, that's really, it's really cool. That is really... I never heard of anything like that. That is just cool. In a random alleyway like this, there's just a peep show. It's cool. It's <laughs> awesome. I mean, it's not like a naked peep show or anything like that, but yeah, it's really, really cool. I don't know if you guys can make it out inside of there, but you can definitely see that there's something going on inside of there. Super cool. What movie is it? I don't know. It's just... It's currently just different colors, like shapes of colors, and it's doing something. I mean, it says rock, paper, scissors, flow. Three choreographed pieces by Chicago-based animators. And then I guess it's three different 
pieces that they play. Like one's 45 seconds, one's 42 seconds, the other one's 41 seconds. So, I don't know, it's cool. I mean, you can look at their Instagram at People Cinemas. That's cool. It's like different, it's like, I don't know, it's like an acid trip inside of there. It's all like different shapes and things like melting into each other. I guess it's pretty fitting for the area that we're in, you know, San Francisco. This is very special. That's yeah. something else. Very unusual. And you guys know we like the unusual. Atlas Obscura. Yeah. If you guys don't know what Atlas Obscura is, it's a, it's a website with all unusual. obscure things. Yeah, so. unusual things to see. Yeah, so it's just a bunch of obscure stuff that, uh, you know, we kind of check in with them. Sometimes we find abandoned places on there. Sometimes we find things like this. But it's really, it's really cool. So if you're ever on vacation, on a trip somewhere that you don't know what to do, look up Atlas Obscura. Yeah. They'll help you out. Definitely find some cool, you know, unusual stuff to do, you know? So, so the other thing that we found on Atlas Obscura that we thought was cool were these C-word, how do I want to say it? C-word cement slides. So there's, C-word? C-word is the street. So they're called C-word slides, I think. I got to look back at, at it, but. There's just like these cement slides in the middle of the neighborhood that you can slide down using the supplied cardboard. Do you want to go? I don't know. It's scary. I'm going to try it. <laughs> wow, that was actually pretty fast. That was like a pretty steep drop. You gotta try it. This is a good cardboard. Be careful because it's pretty steep. All right, guys. Let's see how this is on camera going down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are the best slides I've ever been on. That was really cool. Yeah. I got Whoever it. made these. Yeah. You're f***ing awesome. I want to do it again. Go for it. You want me to get you coming down? <laughs> Yo, I caught air. You gotta leave your feet up. What do you mean, leave my feet up? Because if you leave them not sliding down, you're gonna go faster. No, I had them on the cardboard. Oh, you had them on the cardboard. Oh, I yeah. I went airborne. Yeah. Did I on my shirt? No, you're good. A little kid having fun. <laughs> Shit is great. Mm -hmm. You up. had fun? No, you're good. That was awesome. That was really cool. I really enjoyed that. Very much. Whoever made these. Yeah! Really cool. So that was another thing that we found on Atlas Obscura. There's apparently another set of slides in the town. Uh, we chose this one strictly because it was made out of concrete and I thought that was really cool. I've never so been sick. on a concrete slide before. Just we gotta move on. Ooh. What'd you hurt yourself? Look at that. Damn, what'd you do? A little road rash. <gasps> From what? Because you had your arms on the thing? I guess I must have, when I went airborne, I must have hit that. Oh my that. god. Woo. It's probably stinging. Watch out, guys. Atlas Obscura brought us back to Pier 39. We're gonna head into this like crazy mirror maze. So, I don't know, we'll see how it is. Wow, what in the world? Okay, we go this way. Wow, this is crazy. Another A plus for Atlas Obscura, because this is sick. It's like really messing with my eye. Ooh. I'm gonna definitely have to cut up music inside of here, guys. Because they're playing copywritten music and Tribe Called Quest is definitely gonna come after me for that last song, so I'm gonna try to work this out. This is why they give you gloves, because you're literally touching every mirror. Yeah, well you gotta feel around so you don't crack into anything. Like that. It just goes right into a corner. And you got glass here and glass here. So you could go that way. See, I see people over there, so I know that's free. But that, I almost banged into that mirror right there. This guy right here, 
What'd you just do? I just walked into a mirror. <laughs> you can't really see yourself because if you're walking in this direction, your focus isn't over here. It's kind of like over there, but you're not really. It's weird. It's like you're seeing yourself, Wait, but you're not. Are you here or are you there? Watch your back from perpetrators. My game's strong in my range roll. I got the blackjack juice and my racks off the roof. And the, you see the SUV rolling up next to me, old enough to take you over Sesame. Remember back when I was a kid, all I did was stroll back from the cold over South Bridge. My mama told me, do to do, no entiendo. All I ever heard was noise over my Nintendo. But when you get the chance to go up in this life, make sure that you take it, never ever think twice, yeah. And if you wanna get higher, Pick up the mic and get to rapping cause you're never getting higher Yeah In the front row kicking back old school trash like damn Can't get enough of this more like I don't even know where I am Ooh baby get hyped to the beat let's go cause this is our jam So that was really fun It was It was definitely cool Yeah I don't know if we'll be able to have very much the sound that was in there because there was a lot of copywritten music yeah. guys so it'll just be us you know kind of gallivanting through there <laughs> yeah. walking into mirrors we gotta get you lobster no i don't know if i'm gonna get i could do it like a lobster roll it was really from yesterday when we were at that area when we were in Salsalito, there was like a really good deal on a lobster so that kind of got me in the mood for lobster. I don't necessarily need to eat it tonight, but we'll see. But I definitely want seafood. We found a place to eat. We're at Franciscan's Crab Restaurant. How do you say that? Yeah, Franciscan. Yeah. It's like a play on San Francisco. So. Francisco. And it overlooks the San Francisco Bay Area. You can see Alcatraz from here. Are you going to drink a beer beer or what do you want? I don't know. Do you want a beer? I might get like a, a margarita or something. Thank you. Thank you. It'll probably warm you up for the walk back. It's kind of chilly out there, and you were just kind of complaining about that. I think I'm gonna get a cold, guys. Cold outside. So I guess we'll catch back out with them because yeah, I don't really like watching people eat, and they should deny that. See them outside. Yeah. See you outside. Coming over you, then you bite me. All these other people, they be cool and just like me. Talking about the homies and unusually right me. Yeah, my crew is off the roof. And I told her not to brag about the crew. Even though it's new. Yeah, even though it's new. Yeah. In the front row, kicking back old school trash like this.